Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today, we're talking about rare items in battle. And in fact, I'm going to be giving you a list of all of the rare items you can find in battle, and in fact, how to find them. The reason I'm doing this is because, first of all, it's nice to know what the best of each type of item you can find is. But second of all, I'm sure we all have that friend, let's call him Jake for now, that's just always going on about, oh, he totally found Hero Brian, he slayed him with his diamond sword. Today, I'll be debunking that sort of stuff, as well as just talking about the very best of each type of equipment, as well as food and armor, etc., that you can find in battle. Hopefully, you all do enjoy this video. If you do, like it, let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let us know you do like these battle videos. They do take a little bit longer to prepare because we've got to go in and out of games and out of games until something magical happens. But with that said, let's get straight into this one, shall we? And let's start with the first category of rare items, which are rare items that are only rare through not occurring much, which I guess is the definition. But basically, they're ones that you're most likely to find, even though they're rare, because they all spawn in the starter chest. That's right, in Minecraft Battle, there's three types of loot. There's uh, loot which is found in the center, there's loot which is found in the outside, and then there's loot which is found in two particular particular rare chest. On this map, the rare chests are found there, and then there's one on top of that thing up there, and basically by knowing where the, uh, you know which chest has which stuff, you can know where to find rare items best. However, the starter chests also have rare items because it only spawns once, and because everything in the starter chest is based on kits, this means it's always very specialized stuff for the most part. So for instance, this fishing rod you see I have right now, this is a rare chance to spawn in one of the center chests. For instance, TNT, you can find three of it inside a starter chest. You can also find a stone axe this way, the only way to find it. You can find a bunch of weird stuff this way and in fact the full list it's uh you know tnt it's this it's uh you know find potions that way you find the stone axe and uh, you can also find a blast protection chest plate which you cannot find elsewhere and there's really really niches like a protection against that guy who has tnt so yeah if you've ever wanted to fish if you ever wanted to use tnt or if you ever wanted to use a stone axe even though it's the most bland of the things you can find it's stuff you can find in the central chest as that you can't usually find elsewhere so as well as that um one thing that is of course worth mentioning is the rare items that are directly rare themselves uh this includes uh, everything you find in the rare chest which contain both arrows and the one rare item. Uh, rare item, uh, items can be anything from like gold enchant armor to iron enchant armor to the best weapons in the game. So the best weapons in the game, this might shock you because it doesn't seem as good as you might expect, is the stone sword of fire aspect or the iron axe. They both have five damage and then this one has knockback, this has uh, fire, fire aspect. Obviously it depends on your playstyle, which is better. These are both the strongest weapons in the game. If your friend tells you at the time about, uh, you know, how he found a diamond axe somewhere or like a diamond sword, he is lying to you. They are not found uh, naturally inside battle. So the max you can actually find is both a stone sword of fire aspect or an iron axe of knockback. You can also find bow with power one. That's the best bow you can find. As well as that, you can find a bow with uh, you know punch, a bow with flame, either of the enchantments, but all found at level one. And uh, that's that's about it as far as good weapons go. As far as armor goes, the best uh, armor you can find is all iron. So uh, there is diamond boots and diamond leggings, I believe. But they nerfed the diamond chest plates. So although it used to exist, it's now just an iron chest plate. And that's as far as rare arm goes. So yeah, the very best equipment you can find is even iron axe, a stone sword a slightly enchanted bow or iron armor uh the then that's the best thing. Uh, the best food you can find is just pork chops, which is found naturally in the start chest, like this. But if you go fishing, which you can do if you are lucky enough to get a fishing rod, you can find rare stuff like, you know, fish. You can find stuff like raw salmon. You can find the puff fish. Or if you're really lucky, you can find the very best item in battle, uh, battle mode, which is a power five boat. As well as, uh, you know, fishing items, of course, there is the fact that you can get five cosmetic only helmets. Uh, that is the, uh, you know, the player head. That is the zombie head. That is the wolf skeleton skull, etc. These are all found in the lobby. I, I've gone over them in my own video. But like, that's it's pretty cool that you can find the puffish in battle. There's absolutely no need for it. But if you see a guy who looks really nauseous and he's really confused, maybe he found a puffish and maybe he decided to eat it. So yeah, the very that is the best of every single category, all explained, all in one place. That is how you get each of these rare items. Oh look, I won because I went fishing long enough, I guess. I, I don't know, I'll take that for now. But <laughs> yeah, that's how you find the very best of every category. That's how you find the weird, it weird items like puffish or salmon. And that's how you find stuff like the uh, heads, which by the way, all found in this lobby and taken into the game with you. One final point I want to go on before we end here is the fact that uh, if you are lucky, you can actually find yourself on top of finding all of those things. You can find yourself while fishing, string or tripwire hook, which both can be placed because there's actually no rules against placing blocks in battle. So if somehow you do find, you know, a bunch of blocks that you can find, you can actually place them in battle and use them to your advantage. So far, the only blocks that I know exist in that way are string and tripwire hooks. And I showed you string. Uh, I hopefully can find the string gameplay I got for that. And uh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, fishing is the way to get most of the really rare items. The most realistically rare items you can find is iron armor, 
with a little bit of diamond unenchant armor, uh, and with a you know an iron axe that's enchanted or a stone sword that's enchanted, and the rarest stuff that isn't really too useful is just a stone axe, a TNT, which is awesome, but again is rare and not amazingly useful, and the fishing rod. So yeah, hopefully this video taught you something about rare items in battle. If it did, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. This was kind of super fast because you have to do that for battle games. Um, let me know if you liked it, and uh, with the comments, likes, and all that sort of stuff, share me if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Just one more point here, because I'll prove that the star chests are kind of class based. If you look here, you'll see that this, uh, you know, that's all potions. That's going to be again uh, the other types of potions. That's mostly food. It's, these are really bad classes, but you see the point. How usually you'll find at least one of those rare things, including, by the way, the stick. That's something I've got to mention. The stick of knockback sharpness or uh, fire aspect and sharpness, which is a very average weapon, very mediocre weapon, but still, it's kind of rare if you want to consider it that way. Anyway, hope you did all enjoy today's video. Thank you very much for laughing. You've helped me out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.